Hello everyone, here I am again. Uh, I guess, you know, here, here's an interesting thought. If someone were to ask me the number one reason why everyone needs to help share the messages uh, that I've been trying to send out, um, I'll come back to that, but uh, you know how you're supposed to pray for your enemies. Well, I actually do. You're supposed to love your enemies. And I do. That's why I've been warning my enemies. But, maybe I should pray for my enemies' enemies, which are my family, I think. Because my family isn't help getting the message out, so that way my enemies, that I'm trying to warn, that's my form of loving them, I'm trying to love them, and my form of loving them is warning them, I'm trying to warn the police officers and the soldiers of this world and my message isn't getting out there. I don't want their blood on your hands because they didn't know about me in advance. Yeah, that. So, I guess one of the main reasons why I haven't pulled the trigger on anything physical because no one's hearing me, you know? And I would hate to have to resort to something physical just to prove a point if absolutely no one can grasp hold of what I'm trying to say mentally. And that is that, like, the cops, the police officers, the judges, the lawyers, the politicians, they all need to be warned right in advance so if like I get here close to society and I kind of wander into society then we don't have police officers just dying for no reason because they haven't been warned in advance that because I love my enemies but my enemies enemies don't love them so I'm praying for my enemies. I'm loving my enemies. I'm trying to warn my enemies. I'm trying to let these police officers, specifically, they're the ones that... The judges and lawyers, they're getting blood on their hands. That's just them getting blood on their hands. That's not them actually dying because they hadn't been warned. It's different, see? And so... Up ahead, there could be a, some police officers that die. And that could have been prevented. And their blood will be on your hands because you didn't help share, get the information out there. Because I'm about ready to do some things that their job is to stop me from doing it. Even though I'm not sinning and I'm not doing anything wrong. And their actions will result in not just the first death, but the second not only will they die, but they'll sh they shall also perish because they weren't made aware because their fathers and their forefathers and their foref great you know, like for generations, there's nothing wrong with being a peace officer, which they're not at all. They're not peace officers. They're police officers. There's a difference. They don't keep the peace. They don't even react to anything until a crime has already be been committed. They don't stop any crimes. They just seek revenge. They stop nothing. And so, you know, the whole entire world really needs to realize that when something bad happens, whether that's a fire, or someone breaks their neck, or slices their arm open, or gets burnt, or gets shot, or gets raped, or gets mugged, and your your inst your instinct is to call 911 for a fire department, or for an EMT, or for a police officer. Your first instinct isn't to call your heavenly Father. That's why this is happening in the first place. If if your first instinct was to call your heavenly Father for help when things get bad, things would never get bad, and you you wouldn't even have to call him for that. See. 
but because you, your first instinct is to call for the police, bad things happen to you. There's no hand of protection over you. And so it's a, it's a, it's all just a, the, a facade, a self-righteous facade. Society wants to paint on itself by using these men in these uniforms that are all about ready to die and also perish when they could have been warned. They're enforcing things that are ungodly. They're doing wrong to others. They're doing things to others that others don't want done to them. And they're treating people in a way they wouldn't want to be treated. And it's happening globally. And so they're going to die. Do you understand? And their blood is going to be on your hands. Because you didn't help spread the word and warn them. How, much, how many of them would retire if they knew that everything they did was actually a sin? That they've been lied to and they're wrong. And how many of them would retire if they knew that they're about ready to die for choosing the wrong side to wronging their fellow humans? I look at a police officer and I'm just like, I look at, it's like, a you know, the Nazis. They're all telling us to get in the shower whether you like it or not. That's what they are. They're, they do the devil's work. And I'm here to give them like one last warning, one last call, one last offered cup. Because they need to repent of this or they will die and they shall perish. All from lack of knowledge. All because they were doing something that they thought was right, which was actually wrong. And so their ignorance is going to send them to hell, which is worse than death. One thing to die. Lots of good people die. It's another thing to perish and go to hell. That, we're trying to, we're trying to prevent that. Because I do know that the, there are pretty good, some there are a few good hearts, actually, I think, in the police officer line of duty that think they're doing right. But they're fooled. They've been fooled. And so, their fate is almost, you know, completely unpreventable. But each individual might have... The fate of police officers and people in the military is guaranteed done via death or if you could hurry up and get them I, I say all police officers get retirements I mean you know not necessarily like a retirement but they need to step away okay there should be no court martials or dishonorable discharges I guess is what I'm saying for the military let them walk away in the name of Christ the same way you should set the prisoners free because Christ has set those prisoners free and you should let them know that when you let them free they weren't they weren't set free because of Jacob Israel Reed they were set free because of Jesus Christ I'm just here to enforce it actually and everybody who wants to remain deaf is going to die and that I means the people who aren't sharing that's it's not going to help you it's going to hurt you because you didn't care enough to share. You didn't care enough to share. You heard me say this and you didn't share it. If tomorrow a bunch of police officers die and you could have warned them, it's you. You're guilty for not having got this message out the, to the best of your ability to let them know. I'm here to see to their end. They w I will see them to their end because they're the ones enforcing the guys that, that are bad, the big bad guys, you know, big brother, that, not my big brother, our savior, the other, the, you know, Uncle Sam and whatnot, the powers that be, these governments, the United Nations that are ruining this world and trying to destroy any chance of those who have been adopted by Satan to ever find their way back to their rightful father that wants them to return to him because he loves them. 
yeah, it's just this, this there's a, I could just go on and on and on, but the whole, like, I guess I should kind of keep this short. The whole message is, I really can't hold things off much longer. I can't prevent much longer things. Bad things for bad people. That's just, it's real soon. And even though I pray for them, because I love my enemy, I can't prevent the way my enemy might react. Um, let's say if I take this herd across Interstate 70, that might turn out bad. But it's not all just straight woods from here to my destination. See, I mean, I have to cross through some towns, maybe some cities. I'm gonna try to avoid the cities, but yeah, I might have to be crossing Interstate 70 here real soon. And actually, the trail is blazed for me. It's this nice flat. It's been, tr I might end up just taking Interstate 70 straight across some of this country and saving some time. Cause I'm not making good hit. I'm not making good time so far. Like it's gonna be like Christmas. It's going to be December, end of December, and the beginning of January before I get there at this rate. It's thick. It'd be better if I was just, maybe I'm just going to jump on 70 with my herd of goats and just stop traffic and some cops are going to try to stop me and it might turn out really bad for them and might not have if you gave them the warning, but no one really cared, see? One sister. One sister cared enough to try to get the message out there, at least to her viewers. So, her self, you know, she's washed her hands of it. She's good. And her viewers, well, that's, you know, up to them or whatever they've heard or decided to do with what they have heard. But all of you YouTubers, with all of your viewers, what if one of them is a police officer and you could have helped them or a family member of a police officer? Yeah, I mean, basically kind of telling you, I'm a cop killer. That's me. I'm killing the identity of that position within the human race. Not out to kill these individual people, but it might be a byproduct of what actually happens. You see what I mean? I am here to slay all those positions that work for the serpent, the dark one. You see? That's the police officers, that's the judges, that's the lawyers, that's the politicians. You're done. So if you don't walk away from that, everybody else is, ha I, people of any position I see having to walk away from their job because of what you're doing. You crippling humans with your laws. It, those who write the laws, those who enforce the laws, disgusting humans that are just the muck tread in my boots. Do you understand? Walk away from those uniforms or you're just gonna be the jelly that's squirting out of those uniforms. I'm not joking, folks. I don't put my life on the line. My Heavenly Father supports every single thing I'm telling you. If you're fighting me, you're fighting the Almighty. You got no chance. Those who don't stand with Christ are against Christ. I'm standing with Christ. I don't see very many standing with me. Their mouths talk about Christ. I don't see them standing with Christ. In this time, in this hour, I'm looking around everybody who claims to know Christ. Hypocrites. The time is now. The Roman soldiers need warned. I've been warning those Nebuchadnezzars, right? They're gonna just be mindless idiots. Like beasts in the field, right? Eating the grass or whatever. But Nebuchadnezzar's men, they haven't been warned. If I get thrown in the furnace, it's them that's going to be incinerated. And nobody's warning them. Not one of you. One of you. I'm sorry. One of you. My one sister. And that's it. All the rest of you have been spineless cowards lukewarm Christians. If you loved your enemies, you'd warn them. Alright. Or maybe I'm just committing cop suicide by cop, but I'm not suicidal. There's absolutely no chance of it. I'm here to prove it. My Heavenly Father has me on a mission. If anybody stands in my way, 
they're ruined permanently. I'm warning the few viewers that I have that have many viewers of their own. You better hurry up and get with it, even if you just say, hey, there's this crazy cop killer Christian guy. I don't care how you say it. I don't care if you want to throw me in the bus and say you hate me or whatever, whatever. Our Heavenly Father's already judging everyone. I'm not judging anybody. Measuring, maybe. Not judging. I am measuring, actually. No one's measuring up to my one sister that has already proven to not be a coward. She has faith. She has the full armor of God, and she's picked up the shield of faith. Who else can pick up? Anybody else has the guts to pick that shield of faith up? The funny thing is, is only an idiot wouldn't pick up the shield of faith. See what I mean? The worst thing on earth you could ever do is not pick up the shield of faith. And yet everybody's like too afraid to pick it up. Anyway, I love you guys. I think I'm going to have a visitor here soon. Seems like it. Yeah, I love you guys. Take it easy.